morning, everyone. So just a bit, a bit about myself briefly uh, before I start. Uh, I'm the, um, heading the development services at Camden, where we're responsible on the technology space for all the public-facing interactions. So I'll talk a bit about Camden briefly, and then I'll talk more specifically about how we use the Google Search Appliance at Camden. So uh, I was, a, a quote was given to me yesterday from one of our uh, councillors and portfolio holder about the way local government respond to the digital challenge will be in the path to how government has responded to austerity. So this is how seriously we're taking the digital challenge at Camden. Just to give a little bit of background at Camden, you know, standard inner London local authority, one billion pound turnover, 350 million um, uh, running cost. Um, and we're gonna have to save 150 million in the next four years. Um, so it's a pretty big challenge, and it, we're not unique. And it's the same story we've heard time and time again this morning. And the way we're planning to do this uh, at Camden is by investing heavily in how we do uh, deliver digital services to our customers. And there's, there's four, four main products that we will uh, invest, um, and that's about us thinking in terms of vision of where we want to go. There's four products we want to develop, and one which is around the way we deliver the web uh, and our content, and I will come about to that in a second. Secondly is how we provide uh, an account to our citizens so that they can interact with us more easily and we can build that relationship with them. Thirdly is how we deliver a first class um, call center offer to our staff by ensuring that they've got visibility on everything our customers do. Uh, and lastly is making sure that our online transaction as efficient as possible. So, but before we started, and, and, and the way we started our journey around uh, the Google Search Appliance is you know, simply by trying to get the basics right. We, we started with a you know, standard CMS, which has its own uh, search capabilities. Um, we had to do a lot of, of tuning and, and basing of searches, and, and it was uh, taking a bit of time, especially as, as our content started to grow exponentially. Just to give you an idea, at the moment, we've got about 450 unique visitors per month on our main CMS platform, and that's equal to about 50% of our traffic. So 1.7 million page impression, that's what we get today. So we wanted to provide a, a unified search uh, as an alternative navigation system, because we all know we have a lot of information out there, and sometimes it's challenging for our customer to find the information they need. So we started from the sort of information findability perspective. Uh, and, and something that we wanted to do is to, to highlight popular content. And so we, we looked out there and, and we said, oh, you know, let's try with the Google search plan seems to, to be fitting the bill. And it took us an hour with an in-house team to actually make that content available online to our customer. We were able to rack it. You know, we've got a, a fancy yellow box amongst a lot of gray boxes in our data center. But more importantly, it worked and it has never failed us. We've been using it for many, many years and not one single time, I have to say, that box has gone down. So much so that actually, currently, we're running with no backup. We trust that search so much that currently, based on our DR, and we've got a 99.9 .9 uptime target, we haven't had to actually rack a second box in. We trust that box so much. Probably rightly or wrongly, but it, it, it served its purpose very well uh, so far. And then, you know, like I said, the, the first launch was around, you know, consolidated five sites. No, we, more importantly, we had zero impact on search performance. Uh, one thing I would, I would say, however, is that as, as the Google search plans are becoming more and more powerful, uh, they will hammer your server very hard. So you have to plan that quite carefully. Uh, but uh, apart from that, we will, uh, uh, the content was available very, very uh, quickly. We were able to provide a consistent user experience, so most of our customers don't actually know that they're moving from our main CMS platform to our search, and that is very important for us because we want them to have a, a seamless customer experience when they deal with Camden online. And like I said, just to give you an idea of scale, we had you know, 620,000 unique searches over the last 12 months, and that keeps raising and raising and raising. This equate to about 10% of our visits have a search in them, and that's what we want to improve. We want to make sure that going forward, people are using more and more searches in terms of navigating through our online offer. What we did then is we wanted to, to expand on, on, the, on, the, on the Google search. You know, the business case, 
was sufficient enough, you know, based on one, one staff that used to maintain that box, uh, the searches capability, and ramping up new sites on the searches, we put the Google Search Appliance 24K for two years, and that was the return on investment. And, and a lot of people stop there, you know, we, we're talking to colleagues and, and we're talking to, to other people, and uh, you just get it in and you just stop there. Because it just works, it does the job very well, why would you do more? But at Camden, we wanted really to move into you know, using the GSA as a platform and, and what is it that we could, could use it for. So we use it also for, for internal search and, and promoting all, all the content uh, internally. We, we also created by not plan, but it just happened, a, a data API for our uh, channel shift where we were able to actually build application on top of the Google Search Appliance, we in turn were able to provide feed, uh, personalized data feed for some of our uh, online application. And we were able to localize this information using geotagging, which is very important. So for example, to give you an idea of what the thing we did is in terms of our licensing register. So it's something that we have to do as an organization, we have to public our online register and it used to run on the, on the bespoke uh, system. So we moved it all with one of the Google partner onto the Google Search Appliance and now as a customer you can search uh, you know, anything, anything about licensing in Camden if, you, if you're into that space um, and slice the data in whichever way you want it. But what we didn't expect is that we were able to reuse that data API when we built our, our online account. Because every data is geotagged, we were able to get from the GSA an ex, a geotagged XML feed that allow us to provide when a customer logs in onto our account we're able to tell them what are the license information that is relevant to them. That's something we never expected, that's never something we planned for, but something that just happened. And just about to show the, the extendability of the Google Search Appliance, because like I said, we brought it in for a purpose, which was to provide a unified search, um, and we've expanded that use uh, to now be not only um, a data API that we think we want to expand uh, and we want to advertise that more so that people can reuse it, not only us as an organization, but people out there. Um, for example, we get a lot of freedom of information requests about that information. You know, we could, um, that the kind of stuff that can contribute to, to Camden open uh, data agenda. And uh, lastly, the, the other aspect, and that's something that we really truly believe in, is that actually search can help us with our channel shift. Search can help us to promote our online transactional services. So here this is just a, a, a high fidelity uh, user uh, UX diagram, uh, UX wireframe that we did, where we can see we could use essentially the power of the Google Search Appliance to not only surface content when it matters, but really signpost and promote our transactional information to the rest of the customer. So this, I believe, will be <laughs> the next phase of our Google Search Appliance. This is where we will, in the next 12 months, invest and grow the Google Search Plan. And I think this is what will actually deliver even bigger return on investment than what we've been able to do so far. And that's pretty much about me. I know I, I, won't, be, I won't be taking questions now. I'll, I'll, I'll be on the panel if you want to ask me questions uh, later on. So thank you very much and hope you found this interesting. <laughs>